Welcome to part two of lecture five of both body aerodynamics. So we left off thinking about this question of why there's an optimum value of delta x for uh, reducing drag with regards to bumper sweep. So the answer to this is that as the delta x becomes very small, this means that basically the um, front end is angled as it approaches the wheels and there'll be high incidence angle onto them. So we're probably gonna get separation over the wheels and therefore attenuate high drag but at very large delta x means we've got a very squarish front end of the vehicle and the flow is probably going to separate coming around to the vehicle side again yielding higher drag so there's a happy medium somewhere in the middle that minimizes it the location of the front stagnation point on the vehicle also affects the drag and this is essentially determined by the shape of the front end um, basically, this where that stagnation point is controls how much flow goes under the vehicle and thus influences the overall drag generated. Um, and basically, if we can set this stagnation point lower, we can generate drag. Um, what you can see here is uh, sort of graphically sort of depicting a very you know, idealized vehicle front end, but moving around the, the location of the nose where the stagnation point is essentially going to lie. And as we move it down, we see that um, there's a small range basically uh, w where we can actually get a, a negative contribution um, and then if we uh, or sorry as we sort of start pulling it up we can get sort of a drag reduction but then if we go too high we actually get extra drag the inclination of the front grill also impacts the stagnation point location um, if we incline the lower part of the grill backward that um, helps move the stagnation point down that again reduces the amount of underbody flow and therefore slightly reduces the drag. With regards to hood angle, a small in inclination of the hood um, helps to reduce drag. Um, this is just like rounding the front corners and that the effect saturates at a pretty small angle. You can see that here by the time you get to 10 degrees, uh, there's no further benefit. Okay, and the, why is this thing, why does this matter at all? Well, this is caused by a downstream impact of the flow. Basically, if I incline this hood, it means that the flow is more likely to stay attached later on um, over the windshield and as it goes up to the roof, um, and, and that's sort of the benefit. So it's not so much that it matters for the flow on the hood, it matters for what happens next afterwards. Now, the windshield has multiple possible separation points. You get flow separation at the base because of stagnation point here, so there's a pressure gradient approaching it. Um, at uh, the transition to the roof, where there's sort of an opening of the flow, and again, therefore, a, uh, a locally adverse pressure gradient af after an overspeed. Um, and on the A pillars, as the flow sort of spills over the side, we may get these longitudinal vortices forming. There's a few relevant geometric parameters to sort of the shape of the windshield. There's sort of the angle of transition, its inclination, um, as well as several radii that kind of define the curvature. Um, but we'll focus on the inclination and the A pillar radius effects here. Um, and basically the separation at the base of the windshield, that is governed by the angle between the windshield and the hood. Um, most modern cars have little to no separation here. Um, the roof transition is very smooth as well on modern cars, so we won't expect to have any separation there either. But if we look at just the effect of inclining the windshield, we can see that we can reduce the drag slightly by inclining the windshield further back. Basically, um, if we go from, you know, say, down to 60 degrees or so, we can get a you know, small reduction in drag. Um, and as we sort of go past that, there starts being not much more benefit. Now, why do you think it is that this inclination helps to reduce drag? I want you to take a minute and think about this and try to come up with an answer for yourself before you move on to the next part of the video.